The purpose of this video is to share with you Telemon TRC's strategic plan priorities that we'll be working on through September 2026. In 2022-23, the governing board and leadership team gathered input from staff, funders, and community partners in order to develop a new three-year strategic plan. As part of the 2023 strategic planning process, the mission statement was revised. The priorities in the new strategic plan are intended to position us to achieve our mission, which is to disrupt the cycle of poverty by empowering families to overcome barriers to success. We do this by providing high quality comprehensive services where we partner with families and community partners and inspire families to achieve success in education, career, finances, and housing. Telemon TRC did not have a vision statement, so as we revised the mission statement, we also developed a vision statement that shows everyone what we're working towards as a future state for those we serve. Our vision is a future where families thrive and create a legacy of success and well being. We have four strategic priority areas, each with goals and tasks. Our first strategic priority is to deliver an integrated high quality services for greater impact in the community. Our areas of focus have tended to be delivered in a siloed manner. Our vice presidents and housing director are working to design program services that are integrated and have high quality standards that are mission driven, not just those that meet the funder performance markers. We're looking at what we need in terms of organizational capacity to deliver those high quality services and that includes staffing, systems, and funding. In the fall of 23, we did an initial or baseline survey regarding our readiness to become a trauma-informed organization. We have a trauma-informed collaborative that kicks off October 23. That group has representatives from all parts of the organization and will be the lead to help transform Telemont TR services to deliver services in a trauma-informed manner. This will not only address trauma issues for customers, but also for employees. Our second priority area is to create a culture that delivers an exceptional employee experience. We're expanding the type of wellness activities offered to employees and continue to expand the benefits offered as well. We hope you value the supports that are provided through our benefits and wellness services as part of the overall comprehensive earnings of Telemon TRC employee. We've issued a diversity statement, but we expect to do much more work in this area. A diversity, equity, and inclusion, or DEI champions group will be established so we can get ideas and feedback from all parts of the organization as we foster a sense of inclusion and belonging for employees and customers. As we move to our new HR software, we'll be building out more defined career paths for staff who want to increase their skills and position in the organization. These will be tied to professional development opportunities. And while we launched Motivosity Platform in 2023 as a way to recognize each other, We'll continue to build that out, that platform out, to also be able to reward employee contributions and engage employees around common interests. We'll also continue to include training for leaders throughout the organization to improve their communication, recognition, and engagement skills. Our third priority area is to foster a culture that encourages data-driven decision-making at all levels of the organization. We collect a lot of data to report to funders. What we need to do is get better at looking at data, not from counting services provided, but rather what impact we're having. That impact may be individual, family, or community-based. We need to use data to evaluate and improve the services we provide so we can ensure we're helping families disrupt the cycle of generational poverty. We're starting to bring data from different databases into the Microsoft Power BI platform. From there, we're learning how to create dashboards and that can inform us on performance and impact. We've established a new committee on the board that will look at IT and data issues, and we're looking to form a steering committee that will bring your voices to the table to help us understand what is the key data we need to track to show impact and what reports can help you as you work with families. Finally, our fourth priority area is to promote a greater understanding of our organization and its impact to communities in which we serve. We'll continue to evolve our internal communications plan, and we're working on a new external communications plan. We've updated our branding standards and social media policies. And the board has asked us to look at rebranding the name of the organization so we can be one name rather than dual branding of Telemon and TRC. 
This would simplify how we communicate who we are and what we do as we talk with new customers, community partners, and funders. We realize this is a big ask and will be expensive to undertake. Because of the potential cost and because we've been managing so much internal change with our finance and HR systems, we made the decision to push the consideration for this into 2024 or 25. We'll communicate with you once we pick up this goal. I hope this brief overview gives you an idea of what we hope to achieve over the next few years. As I mentioned earlier, these strategic priorities are all in the interest of ensuring you have the support needed to inspire families to disrupt the cycle of poverty. Thank you for your time today.